Riley. For identification purposes, I work for the U.S. I work for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about what had happened here. So I found out when I was at work one day that one of my coworkers had disclaimed the entire LA River as being navigable in fact or a traditional navigable waterway. I was extremely concerned about the carelessness in disclaiming the entire LA River and the implications that that had. So I immediately contacted the right people and got it into the hands of Henry Waxman. This river right here is the reason that Los Angeles exists. Back up a little bit, the river is a central natural fact of the LA Basin. It's a central artery of the major watershed that LA inhabits. Okay. Everyone in the country and has seen it, a lot of people in the world have seen it because it's in all so many movies and TV shows. In the 1930s, there were a couple of floods, and LA, which had been trying to solve this problem, brought in the Army Corps of Engineers, dun -dun 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 -dun, the cavalry, and they decided the way they were going to solve this problem is they were going to build a big, 51 mile culvert, basically ditch, and uh, put the river into it. So I had contacted Waxman, and immediately he had requested the EPA go ahead and special case the matter, and he made some phone calls to the Corps of Engineers. I'm the commander of the Los Angeles District. I'm an environmental engineer, and uh, you know, I have a passion for the environment. I have a passion for you know, how do we uh, make a better uh, world, a better community. So the reason that this has some kind of importance is because there was a decision in 2006 called the Rapanos decision that made it very ambiguous in terms of what was going to remain protected under the Clean Water Act. I think the Corps of Engineers has no business deciding on land use. And then taking it back to Anthony Scalia's idea of a navigable river is only one of hundreds of mistakes by that guy. And the Corps is really kind of, I think, trapped in the middle of it. And I think that it's time for them to step back away from that, uh, take their hands off the guns, and surrender peacefully. If you pretend that this little tree here is a, um, a watershed, so you have all these little tiny tributaries in the upper watershed that drain downstream into the main branch of the tributary and out to the ocean. So if you say that the ocean is the navigable in fact water body, so that's step one is to identify where the navigable in fact water body is. Step two in making that analysis is that we have to show how this little tiny, it's called reach of creek, is affecting many, many, many miles away the ocean. The stakes are very high. We're looking at large portions of states that could lose federal protection. I think there's an innate appeal to this notion of you know, fighting for what people really know is theirs, but are told that it's not. I'm just a boater. My understanding as a layperson, um, boating is one of the criteria used to determine whether a river can be considered a traditional navigable waterway. And right now my understanding is that only two sections of the LA River Essentially four miles are currently considered traditional navigable waterways, but there are other fine sections of the river like the Glendale Narrows, a seven mile stretch of rapids that are wonderful for boating and we're trying to get access to places like that too. Well, here we are finally. Ultimately, we hope that this trip will raise consciousness about the LA River, perhaps touch on our ridiculous commuting situation. I feel like it's, it's just crazy to keep people from their rivers, you know, no matter the condition of the rivers, they deserve uh, a fight for them. And uh, if we have to take some of the brunt of that, then we're willing to do that. I'm On your marks, mark. get, get set, set. go! All the attention that was brought to the
the issue by the river trip and by Henry Waxman and by all the environmental groups really put a lot of accountability on the process. It's a river that deserves our attention and I think this is one way that we try to show we are paying attention to. We're principally focused on the areas the Corps did not speak to that I think the public has asked us to deal with and to try to deal with more quickly. Going on this river trip down the LA River was a really once in a lifetime experience. It was quite a fun adventure. I still have my paddle, so take it to the core. <laughs>